Shot, shot him and his, his mom and sister in the head. Like that's crazy. Like some people are just nuts. Like they just, you know what I'm saying? Just off. Oh, some people are just killers. They not right. You know what I'm saying? Little things happen. It's just not right. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know what I'm saying? They freak out and do it. You know what I'm saying? The dude that killed Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? You sure y'all saw that video? Yeah, I saw it. Man, it's nuts. It's just, some people are just nuts. Like just loony. I ain't seen some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen nobody get no, thank God I ain't never seen nobody get their head blown off and nothing crazy like that. But I ain't seen some people get their face just put on the curb and somebody just jump on the back of their face. Like, you gotta be nuts. You gotta, like, you gotta be crazy you wanna do that type of harm to a person. To be able to shoot a person, they fall down, you run. You come back, shoot them some more. Dome them. Then come back, and then come back and kick them after you dome them. And then finally run off. That's insane. Like, what, what motivates that? <coughs> crazy. Matter of fact, they picked the man up in a crazy home. Yeah, when they found him. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure all that got strategy to it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, that stuff is crazy. It's nuts. You got to ask yourself, like, what, what, what could motivate that type of thing? You know what I'm saying? That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's people getting all these conspiracy theories from or what they call it conspiracy theories. It's like, man, y'all y'all don't know the history of this country? Some of that stuff ain't really far off. You know what I'm saying? Like, before it happened, everybody was like, no, man, I think the government did it. You know what I'm saying? I tried to be easy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's let some of the stuff fall down first. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how they, I know how they set you up. You know what I'm saying? They be knowing who did it right away. The, the news, the cops, the police, they be knowing who did it right away. But what they do is they try to put you in a hole to where you jump off on a conspiracy theory, then they hit you with the opposite and be like, ah, shoot down your conspiracy theory. So now everybody just like, everybody want to just be like, okay, let's just go with the police say, because clearly we were obviously wrong. That's how, that's how they try to get you. So sometimes you just got to slow down and be like, all right, you play your hand first. Right? And sure enough, they came back. The first hand they played was, I can't believe it. We were just supposed to have a meeting with them. Right, they start reading. I mean, I, the, the, the chief, I just, uh, I just got a text from Nipsey. We supposed to have a meeting with him. I ain't saying that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying the police got something to do. I don't know. I'm just saying that, you know, that's the hand that they played. First thing they came out with, such a shame. You know what I'm saying? We had just supposed to have a meeting with the man. Not to mention, same police department just beat up and killed, you know what I'm saying, some black folks in, in L.A., you know what I'm saying, like a couple weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? And they hot in the water about that. Suddenly, I guess they maybe they care now. I don't know. I, I know the history of the L.A. The, uh, the LAPD. Let me tell you something. They ain't got a history of caring. Not a whole lot. Right? They ain't got a history of caring. Not a whole lot. But let's just say, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they do. You know what I'm saying? They pull it out. They're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, we were just supposed to meet. He just reached out to have a meeting with us. And it's just such a shame. The captain said, I had to look at it twice. When I saw Nipsey Hussle, I thought it was a hoax. Maybe serious. A lot of us felt the same way, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe, maybe, maybe he being honest. You know what I'm saying? So then people come out. Once he played that hand, what the people come out and say? See, does this still look like the LAPD set him up? All right. So now people argue about that. Then later on to come out, it was somebody from the Rolling Sixties that got him. Guess where Nipsey is from? Rolling Sixties. Right? But then the hood let out some information that everybody else didn't know. He is a snitch. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think nobody got no paperwork on it. But so far, that's what they say. It came out around the same time. The hood was saying, homeboy is a snitch. And Nipsey told him he is a snitch. He left, came back, and that's when it happened. Right? So now people are like, okay, if he is a snitch, that's what happened. Nipsey told him a snitch. And then it's just his own, you know what I'm saying? His own people just shot him up. See, the hood can't never had nothing. They always killing people now, so it turned into that conversation, right? That take the heat off of any other possibility. 
That's why I'm like, oh, y'all don't really know the history of this country. Like y'all don't, y'all ain't never, y'all ain't never heard of COINTELPRO. Y'all don't know that it was FBI informants, aka snitches, that took down the Black Panthers. Yeah. And they were black. Yeah. It wasn't FBI agents. A lot of people, that's what a lot of people think. A lot of people think it was F like I went to the FBI and then I went undercover. You know what I'm saying? Like I went to school, I joined the FBI, I finished my training. After I finished my training, then I went undercover. And I said, hey, I'm going to pretend like I'm a Black Panther. That's what a lot of people think happened. No. No. That didn't happen. They were informants. They tried to give them a pretty name. So in the documentaries, you don't really know what they're saying. That's a snitch. That's somebody that they caught doing something. And they said, you know what? I'm going to put your black butt in jail. However, if you just keep doing what you're doing and go over there and tell them people that you still with them, and just tell me everything that's going on. You'll be all right. But you know what that turns into? When J. Edgar Hoover, you know what I'm saying? J. Edgar Hoover, he ran the FBI at the, at the time. He's the one responsible for threatening Martin Luther King, and a lot of people say responsible for killing Martin Luther King. He's the one responsible for, uh, a lot of people say, killing uh, Malcolm X, Fred Hampton. All these big names, mm -hmm. right? Making a lot of the boys sick, putting a lot of them boys in jail. He's the one who's orchestrated it. He got documents uh, saying... We need to stop the black what? Messiah. So you notice each time one of these men that we just discussed, I'm talking about the old timers, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Fred Hampton, each time one of them rise to a certain level where people will be like, yeah, and they start changing their tune, them boys drop all of a sudden, right? Malcolm X was in a position where he was like, you know what I'm saying, all black, all black. Not everybody was rolling with that. We had knock you out, you come put your hands on us. Not everybody was rolling with that. Then all of a sudden he is like, wait a minute. I go over here, these Muslims is white too. And he came back with a different message. Came back a little more friendly. People might buy into that. He gone. Right? He done after that. Martin Luther King, similar. Martin Luther King was like nonviolence. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get some workers' unions. You know what I'm saying? Let the, let the government just subsidize us a little bit, give us jobs. All right, towards the end of that thing, his tune changed a little bit. He's like, you know what, we're about to march on Capitol Hill this time, and they're going to have to give us a check. Literally is what his words were. Right after that speech, man, get shot. Don't. And guess what they say in both of those cases? Who killed them? People from the own crew is who killed them. Is what they say. Right? You remember Malcolm X? What was Malcolm X doing? He was about to give a speech. He was, he was giving a speech. And then somebody yelled out what? It was something like, get your hands out of my pocket. Then everybody started looking around. And then some man came up that was supposedly a Black Panther and shot him. And you know what the story that came out was? That it was the it was uh, Elijah Muhammad mad that Malcolm X was saying different stuff. And so he had him shot. Right? Now, I'm not saying that didn't happen, because there's some stories about <coughs> Elijah Muhammad being a government informant, right? All I'm saying is, that works perfectly for somebody up top who might want something like that to happen, who's trying to stop a black messiah from happening. Yeah. All I'm saying is, it's I just, don't know if that's any different today. He's definitely serious about changing like the way his neighborhood works. All I'm saying, I don't know how different that is today. I don't know if, like, I don't know, people in power just had, like, a sudden change of heart. He's just definitely trying to stop all that gay stuff and make stuff look way nicer. You know I, mean? I mean, I got me a snitch. I should say the man's a snitch. Got me a snitch. He from the 60s. He crazy. He bound it. Maybe he, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he like Nipsey, maybe he don't. If she tell him, you know what I'm saying? He, Nipsey, you know, Nipsey said, I ain't crazy. Well, you a snitch. Get on, well, you ain't welcome around here. Get on from around here. I know what you doing. Right? Maybe they say, you know what? I wouldn't let, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this is how the FBI work. I wouldn't let nobody say nothing like that to me. And maybe he go off the handle and handle some business. And maybe that's exactly what they want. In 2013, they had an article and they released over 5,000 snitches, informants, that they allowed to do crimes. You read the article, and you know, you're like, off of the headline, 5,000, you know what I'm saying? You probably like, okay, they probably let them like run stoplights and all that. You read the headline, and you be like, 
So what kind of crimes? Oh, we don't keep a record. We don't keep a record. We keep a record that they did a crime. We don't keep track of what kind of crimes. Like, we don't know if they misdemeanors or felonies or murders. I don't know. We don't keep a record. You know, you know how this came, brought, came out? It ain't, like, it ain't like they turned out this information just because they wanted to. It was a mob boss. Not a Hebrew, I can tell you that much. It was a mob boss. He told on them. Well, some of the people told on them. He was like, oh, no, they was letting me run my operation. Selling drugs, you know what I'm saying, running rackets. They just let me run my operation. As long as I kept telling them about these other people. Informants. Just because you're an informant don't mean you low level. He was a boss. Running stuff. We can't trust none of this. So we can't trust these people on the news. We can't trust these people, these politicians. We can't trust any of them could be against us. Could be getting paid. Or could have something hanging over their head. Where the, the government is like, if you don't do it the way I want you to do it, you lose everything you got. And it's a much easier position to be in if you got a lot and the government can take it away from you. For them, it's much easier. All right? So, no, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Uh, you know what I'm I don't know. I don't know if the man killed him for the government or not. All I'm saying is, you ain't about to get me to roll that out. Why? Why should I feel, hold on. Why should I feel bad when y'all confirm that y'all did stuff like this do I, why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I be skeptical? Why shouldn't I ask questions? That ain't a conspiracy theory. That's a that's a logical theory. Y'all done did it. I'm not about to let these people put. You know what I'm saying? They turn us against each other. Be like, man, you got people posting on there. If I see one more conspiracy theory about Nipsey, just let his family rest. Man, look, no disrespect to the family. That thing don't make sense to me to sit here and like rule it out though. That's crazy. I'm gonna rule it out. Maybe they did kill Dr. Uh, Sebi or Sebi, whatever his name is. You know, I don't rock with them. I don't rock, now listen, I don't rock with the Sebi man. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna tell me, oh yeah, eat right. Don't get me started on the Sebi man. <laughs> Yo, oh, no, eat right. Don't eat vegetables. It gets rid of pus. Oh yeah, but then smoke. Smoke a big old fat blunt of weed. He <laughs> smokes? Yeah, he smokes. That's, that's, part of his, that's part of his whole thing. Yeah. Smoke weed, eat all vegetables. Nah, that's smoking to tell you love. And tell you no lungs up. At least cigarette got a darn filter on it. You get you a blunt, that thing ain't got no filter. You just, that's pure smoke you inhaling. That's nuts. I take it better if you say, okay, well, eat the weed or something like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can take that. You gonna tell me to smoke weed? You gonna sit here and tell me how, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, don't get me started on the seven man. Don't get me started on the seven man. But, maybe he was on to something. They did say that, you know what I'm saying? He, he was, he was uh, brought into uh, brought into court about about claiming that he cured uh, AIDS or cancer. AIDS, one or two. They're saying like his patients like tested negative for whatever they had before. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. They say they say they say that he was responsible for curing them, and because he made that claim, they brought him into court about it, yeah. and he walked out of the court without losing that case. Yeah. Well, he just about two cases. Yeah, multiple cases. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That whole thing was swept under the rug is what they say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the whole story behind it, but maybe that is something that somebody's trying to hide. Who knows? And maybe that... They said he tried to go talk to Oprah. Oh, y'all know we don't trust him. Oprah. I mean, I don't know what he... What's it that? Farrakhan. Farrakhan? Yeah, they tried to go talk to him. And they... They wouldn't go to the back. Farrakhan, definitely. We don't trust no Farrakhan. He definitely get paid. We don't yeah. trust no. We don't trust no. We don't trust no uh, Oprah. Huh. Both of them. But no, we definitely don't trust Farrakhan. Farrakhan's like obvious. That thing is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you know anybody who come from the Elijah Muhammad tree, you know you don't want you don't want to mess. Some of them Muslims just don't know what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? They just you know what I'm saying? They like they got the passion. They just they don't know what they don't know what they doing. Farrakhan though, he know what he's talking about. Yeah. He know what he's doing. Yeah. And that man in somebody's pockets. But that's a whole other story. The moral of the story is some of these people aren't crazy. Some of these people nuts and they got it and they'll do it.